with the variable on each side, part two. Let's see what will happen if I solve the equation and I end up with no variables at all. Like here, after solving, opening the brackets, uh, everything, there is no variable. It becomes minus 30, not equal to 20, or two numbers that are equal to each other. It can be like this, and it can be also like that. Two sides are equal. So how can we deal with such equations? Let's see here. Solve each equation and state whether the equation has one solution, no solution, or an identity. When we have the variable on both sides, so we might end up with one of these three cases, either one solution, as we have done before, we end up with x equals to something, y equals to the number, b equals to a fraction, anything, any variable equal to a positive number, negative number, or zero. In this case, the equation has one solution. And sometimes we can end up with two sides with no variables at all that are never equal, like the ones that mentioned here in the example. These are not equal at all. In this case, we can say that there is no solution. Sometimes after solving everything, we end up with two sides that are always equal with no variables appearing at all. In this case, we will say that the solution is identity or infinity many solution. Let's solve this exercise and see what will happen. Now we have a general equation. We have brackets to be opened. We can combine those like terms first so that we can have a simpler equation. Now 12y plus minus 4y is 8y plus 48 equals, and I will distribute this, it will be 8y minus 48. Simply, we can subtract 8y from both sides, or as we agreed before, we can take the 8y to the 8y and reverse the sign. Simply, we can also take the 48 to the negative 48. So it becomes negative 4, 8 minus 48. Now, 8y minus 8y is 0. Negative 48 minus negative 48 is negative 96. No variable appears. No y, no x, no whatever, nothing. No y, we expect y something. There is no y. But we have here two sides that are not equal. So we have right-hand side is not equal to the left-hand side. طرفين غير متساويين. الفاريبل أو المتغير مش موجود أبداً. وهذان الطرفان لا لا يمكن أن يكون متساويين أبداً. This statement is false. هذا خطأ. They will never be equal. غير متساويين. Not equal to. And in this case, we say no solution. Or the solution is phi. Phi is empty set. مجموعة خالية لا تحتوي على أي جواب. So لا يوجد حل لهذه المعادلة. Means there is no value for the variable y that makes this equation true. لا يوجد قيمة لل y تجعل الطرفين متساويين وحل معادلة صحيح. Okay, let's say we have another exercise here. We will start by distributing. 8 times z, 8 z, 8 times 6, 48 equals 4 times 2 z, 8 z, and 4 times 12 is 48. It appears clearly here that the right hand side is exactly equal to the left hand side. So simply and directly, we can say that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, and that means it is 0 equals to 0. And in this case, we can say the solution is identity or infinitely infinite many solutions. There are infinite number of solutions that satisfy this equation, infinite number of values of Z that makes this equation true. 
if you don't like the way that we compare directly, we can simply subtract minus 8z from both sides. So this goes and this as well goes. We subtract minus 48 from both sides and we end up with 0 equals to 0 or what we call identity. In both cases, we have the same solution. So we have solved for now two cases, Halton, when we have identity, in the case identity, the left hand side is always equal to the right hand side. No variables appear. In this case, we have the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. And in this case, no solution. We might have as well one solution here or there. Let's solve one with fraction. 4K plus 3 is equal to, let's distribute this, 1 over 4 times 8, 1 fourth of 8 is 2K, and 1 fourth times 16 is 4. Let's combine like terms. So this would be 4K minus 2K. Taking the 3 to the other side, reversing the sign, so it's 4 minus 3. Now, 4K minus 2K is 2K. 4 minus 3 is 1. Divide both sides by 2. So K is 1 over 2. And in this case, we have one solution. Now we have taken an example for each case. Let's take another example with fractions in both sides. In this case, we have terms including the y. We will combine them together as we agreed before. So we'll take this to the other side. Now I will put the 3 over 8y minus 5 over 8y equals 2. We have also 1 over 12 can go to the side that has this. 5 over 12, because 5 over 12 will take the 1 over 12 to the other side, it becomes negative. And now this is an easy problem since the denominators are the same. So directly we can subtract. We will keep the denominator the same. Now 3 minus 5 is negative 2, and y goes down, equals 2. Same here, put the 12 down. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 12. Simplify. Simplify before you start dividing. Negative 2 over 8 can be simplified by dividing numerator and denominator by 2. قسمت البسط والمقام على 2 يصبح negative 1 over 4 y negative equals and here we can divide by 4 as well 1 over 3 now we end up with an equation with multiplication and it's a fraction remember in the previous videos we said that we can either divide by negative 1 over 4 both sides because this was multiplication or simply since it's a fraction you can multiply by the reciprocal so we multiply by 4 over 1 negative both sides to cancel the 1 over 4 and y is negative by positive is negative. Multiply the numerators 1 by 4 is 4 and multiply the denominator 3 times 1 which is 3. So the answer is y equals negative 4 over 3 or it can be as mixed fraction negative one remainder one over three. This is how we solve equations. Let's apply on real life application. And now we will apply on a geometric problem. Find the value of X so that the figures have the same area. So as you see here, we have two different shapes. Shape number one is the rectangle. الشكل الأول مستطيل. المطلوب إيجاد قيمة x بحيث الشكلين لهم نفس المساحة. So we are comparing the areas. نقارن المساحات. الشكل الأول مستطيل. The first shape is rectangle. The area of the rectangle مساحة المستطيل. 
هي الطول في العرض length by width. So we can consider that this is the length or this is the width or whatever. It can be the same thing, same result, نفس النتيجة. So we will multiply them. We can multiply five, multiply by, and we will include the expression between brackets. نضرب الخمسة في العرض اللي هو x زائد أربعة ونحط بين قوسين لأنه هو مضروب في جميع في كل التعبير. And let's simplify it. We will distribute as we know 5x plus 20. This is the area of the rectangle. This is area of the rectangle. Now, the second shape, شكل الثاني هو مثلث, which is triangle. The area of the triangle, مساحة المثلث هي half base by height. نصف القاعدة بالارتفاع. And let's apply. We have here area of the triangle half times. Our base al qaida is 12, so I will put it. Our height is 2x minus 6. Let's simplify. Area of the triangle is one half of the 12, and this is 2x minus 6. We will distribute in what's that? So it will be 12x minus 6 times 6 is 36. This is the area of the triangle. Now back to the question. The question says that we want the figures have the same area. So area of the rectangle should equal to the area of the triangle. We will copy area of the rectangle that we have done before. This is the area of the rectangle. So we will write 5x plus 20. It should equal to the area of the triangle, which is 12x minus 36. And we end up now, صار عنا equation فيها متغير على الجهتين. Variable on both sides. So we will combine like terms again. 5x minus 12x equals negative 20 minus 36. 5x minus 12x is negative 7x. Negative 20 minus 36. So we will add them. It will be negative 56. Now divide both sides by negative 7, as we all know now. And this will be positive 8. Done. So the value of x is 8, and this makes both areas are equal. Okay, great. Now let's deal with a question with numbers. We will go back to the translation that we have studied in the first lesson in this chapter. Two times the quantity of, two times the quantity of a times a number plus 2 is equal to 3 times the quantity of two times the same number minus seven. Let's translate. Write the equation to find the number. So we will write the equation first. Two times, so we will write two times. I will open the bracket. Quantity, I open bracket because of the quantity. Eight times a number, so it's eight times. We don't know the number, so we will name it X or A or N or whatever, plus two, so here plus two, so we will add two, is equal to three times, so we will put three, quantity, I open the bracket, of two times the same number minus seven, so we will have two times the same number minus seven. This is the equation, and in part B, we need to solve this equation by applying all the rules. Nafsi she distribute 2 times 8x is 16x, 2 times 2 is 4, and we will distribute here 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. Combining like terms, so 16x minus 6x is negative 4 minus 21. 16x minus 6 is, is 10x. Negative 4 minus 21 is negative 25. We can divide both sides by 10, 
and this leads to x is negative 2.5. So the number we are looking for is negative 2.5. Great. Now the last question here, find the error. Take a minute and look at these two students trying to solve this equation. Y minus M equals M minus Y plus one, and they are solving for Y. Solving for Y means finding Y on one side and everything else on the other side. Let's see what happened here. This is an introduction for the next lesson, but let's see what will happen. Okay. Now, what did Anthony do? 2y means what? Means he added y to both sides. Yes, it's correct. Second, he added m to both sides to get 2m. Correct. Keeping the one down. Correct. And then to find y alone, he was dividing by 2 everything, which is correct. Dividing means cancelling the two, cancelling the two here, and one over two. So this is correct, 100%. So this is correct. Let's see what happened with Patty. Patty is confused. She added the Y, yes. But she thought that this term and this term are the same. So when she subtracted here, she cancelled which is wrong. So the step here is wrong. I hope you all get the ideas. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video. Goodbye.